everybody, and welcome once again. My name is Frank. This is Bunker X, which is basically short for Bunker Christmas. This was Christmas of 1997, and I remember it well. I did the album about October, uh, about this time in 1997. So this album is going to be filled with all kinds of Christmas sort of music. And uh, it might be a little bit early this year, but I hope you enjoy it. Let's start off with a classic. Here's Joni Mitchell as we begin Bunker X. of joy and peace oh I wish I had a river I could skate away on but it don't snow here it stays pretty green I'm gonna make a lot of money then I'm gonna quit this crazy scene I wish I had a river I could skate away on so long I would teach my feet to Santa Claus has been uh, brought to my attention by one of our operatives that you have secured for yourself and your interests a very lucrative position in the toy and game industry. Normally, 
My associates and I would uh, not involve ourselves in child exploitation schemes such as yours. However, it is clear to us that you have overstepped your bounds and are cutting into my family's territories. That I cannot let you do. Mr. Claus, we've known each other for many years. And we have no problem with your operations in the North Pole. But, uh, Kansiari tells me that you've expanded your deliveries through the entire South Side. Most of the North Side and everywhere but the Jewish neighborhoods. I understand, Mr. Kringle, that you and I share many interests. We both make lists. We both know who's been naughty and who's been nice. Have I mentioned that the red is also my favorite color? This year, when you make your rounds, I hope you'll take time to stop by the house for a cup of coffee and some cookies. So that uh, we can discuss an offer I know you can't refuse. But I know how much you like cookies. <laughs> I'm sure you will do this thing I ask out of respect. But I would be remiss if I did not remind you of the tragic demise of our mutual friend and confidant, Frosty T. Snowman. I regret that it was necessary to teach Frosty a lesson. Sincerely, and with warmest wishes for you and the lovely Mrs. Claus, Dan. P.S. It would be most unfortunate for you to wake up one morning to find the head of eight tiny reindeers and bed with you. I'm sure that you are a reasonable man and this will not be necessary. Out. I'll 
come back, Woody Guthrie, to us. There's foxes in the hen house, cows out in the corn. Unions have been busted, the proud red banners torn. But to listen to the radio, you think it all was well. But you and me and Cisco know it's going straight to hell. So come back to him, a golden. Up old Joe Hill The barricades are going up And they cannot break our will Come back to us Malcolm X and Martin Luther King We're marching in the Selma As the bells of freedom
That is actually my daughter, Elena, and uh, her friend and my friend, Joe Holes, who is the lead singer of a Philadelphia-based band called the Duke Brothers. Great band. And they got together and did Baby, It's Cold Outside. As we listened to Bunker X, before that, we heard Christmas in Washington. That is Steve Earle from El Corazon. That came out in 1997, the year that I did this uh, particular CD. And I remember listening to that album all summer long. Letter to Santa before that, done in a way uh, like Don Corleone threatening Santa for being in his uh, territory. That was a comedy from Bob Rivers. And a beautiful song to start us off, River, from the Blue Album by Joni Mitchell. That was from 1971. My name is Frank, and I want to thank you for listening today. We are listening to our Christmas CD from 1997. This was uh, Bunker X, and we're going to continue now with something from Elvis. You know, after all this uh, Christmas cheer and joy and everything, uh, I think that uh, maybe it's time for me just to excuse myself and use the bathroom, actually. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. Merry, Merry Christmas, baby Sure did treat me nice I said, Merry Christmas, baby You sure did treat me nice Gave me a diamond ring for Christmas Now I'm living in paradise Well I'm feeling mighty fine Got good music on my radio Well I'm feeling mighty fine Got good music on my radio Well, I want to kiss you, baby While you're standing near the mistletoe Take it off, baby, take it off Yo, yo Putting it through hours 
Christmas in the Caribbean Lots of presents everywhere We don't live in a hurry Send away from this old It's Christmas in the Caribbean Got everything but snow Lights are blue Christmas in the Caribbean from Jimmy Buffett from his uh, compilation CD, Boats, Beaches, Bars, and Ballads. And before that, we heard Holy Shit, It's Christmas. That is Red Peters from Red Peters' Naughty Christmas. A little comedy for you. And we started off with Elvis and Merry Christmas, Baby. Want to thank you for listening today. Hope you're doing well. We're going to get into a little uh, story right now. I got into the habit of writing a story uh, every year, a little Christmas tale. And uh, not really for the kids, but I kind of make it for the kids. So here is the very first Christmas tale as we continue Bunker X. Oh, a Christmas tale. All right. Uh, I got one for you. Uh, There was this little boy once, and... uh... I know that he thought everything in the world was happy and magical. He believed in the goodness of everything. He even believed in Santa Claus. You know, when it would come, the air would turn cold, the snow would start to fall, and his idea of Christmas, it would fill his thoughts. He loved Christmas. We love Christmas stories. And every year, somebody would tell him a different Christmas tale. Well, I got a Christmas tale for you. Once upon a time... Just about Christmas Eve, Santa was making his rounds. He flew over restricted airspace near the Uzbekistan border. He was shot down by local rebels using U.S.-made Stinger missiles. Santa survived, but three of his reindeer died instantly. Comet, Blitzen, and Dancer. The others, they lived for a little while. They were captured and later butchered and eaten by Afghani regulars. Santa survived, and he avoided capture with the help of some Christian militants. They safely spirited him away to an undisclosed military compound outside Pakistan. After being held for 45 days, Santa was released. He made his way back to the North Pole. He had lost so much weight, no one recognized him. His red suit was long gone, and all he had to wear was tattered military fatigues. Upon his arrival, he found that Mrs. Claus had taken up with Chuck the Elf. Much worse. Santa was so distraught, he left the Christmas village. He wandered off into the vast wilderness 
and was never heard from again. There, there's my tale. When the little boy heard this tale, he began to cry. He wondered, could this possibly be true? Is there any moral to this story? Well, kid, there's no moral. The world's a fucked up place. So just deal with it. And they lived happily ever after. There, there's your Christmas tale. Well, there you go. Kind of a wacky Christmas tale. Something I did a number of years back. This is the Christmas CD. I put this out in 1997. Uh, It is our 15th CD. I didn't time it really well, I guess, uh, since it's coming out in October. Although, I did put this CD together in October. I remember listening to it all through the holiday season in 1997. We're going to continue now. Hey, this is one of my favorite guitar players, and I had a chance to see him so many times. This is Mr. Grinch by guitarist Gary Hoey from his CD Ho Ho Hoey as we continue Bunker X. But they 
just one time of year that brings joy to one and all. Says, Have a Kung Fu Christmas. Have a Kung Fu Christmas. Oh. Living in the ghetto, you always lose. They'll shoot you for your socks and they'll stick you for your shoes. When you're a super bad dude, you pay a super bad dude. A red and white fursuit But he's a super fly guy And he's awful cute He's about to arrive Bringing jingle bell jive Santa Claus making the song train soon Sticking out his men with Afro-Shin Hey, baby. Yes, darling. I'd like to do something extra special for you on this Christmas. What's that, baby? I just want to make you feel real good. How you gonna do that, sugar? I thought maybe I'd buy you a big house in the south of France. Oh, I don't want to live in France. Why don't I buy you a big glass bottom boat then, honey? Oh, darling, I don't want no fish looking up my skirt. Oh, sweetheart, I just want to make you feel good. So what you gonna do, darling? Well, I tell you what, baby, let me ask you, what do you want for Christmas? Well, baby, I just want a kind of food Christmas.
Too loud that record Little Anthony and the Imperial Someone stole my record player oh, Now how do you like that? Charlie, I almost went crazy Mario got busted I went back to Omaha To live with my folks Everyone I used to know Was either dead or in prison So I came back to Minneapolis This time I think I'm gonna stay Charlie, I think I'm happy For the first time since my accident I wish I had all the money We used to spend on dope Buy me a used car lot I wouldn't sell any of them Just drive a different car every day Depending on how I feel hey Charlie, for God's sake If you want to know the truth of it Don't have a husband You don't play the trombone I need to borrow money To pay this lawyer Charlie, hey, I'll be eligible for parole come Valentine's Day. The snow's falling down 
gets colder day by day I miss you I can hear people singing It must be Christmas time I hear people singing It must be The Pretenders, that is 2,000 miles from the uh, 1984 CD, Learning to Crawl. Before that, Christmas card from a hooker, that is Tom Waits, from his CD, Blue Valentine. We also heard from National Lampoon and Kung Fu Christmas. What a great, great song. And a great guitar player, Gary Hoey and Mr. Grinch. And uh, he puts an album out called Ho, Ho, Hoey. He actually has two Christmas CDs where he plays some radical, radical electric guitar to some standard Christmas music. It's awesome. I want to thank you for listening today. Hope you're enjoying the music. Trying to get you into the feeling of the season a little bit early this year. We're going to continue now with a song from the Pogues as we continue Bunker X. Christmas Eve, babe, in the drunk tank, an old man said to me, won't see another one, and then he sang a song, the rare old mountain dew, I turned my face away. And dreamed about you Got on the lucky one Came in like ten to one I've got a feeling This year is for me and you So happy Christmas When all our dreams come true They got cars big as bars They got rivers of gold But the wind goes right through you It's no place for the old When you first took my hand On a cold Christmas Eve You promised me Broadway was waiting Pretty queen of New York City When, when the band finished playing They held up for more Sinatra was swinging All the drums they were singing We kissed on the corner Then danced through the night The boys of the NYPD choir Were singing Go away, babe And the bells were ringing out For Christmas Day
upon a time in a far off land. Wise men saw a sign and set out across the sand. Songs of praise to sing. They traveled day and night, and precious gifts to bring, guided by the light. Chased a brand new star Ever towards the west Across the mountains far When it came to rest They scarce believe their eyes They'd come so many miles this miracle it prized was nothing but a child. Nothing but a child could wash those tears away or guide a weary world into the light of. Every day is heard a precious little sound. And every mother kind, and every father proud, was down in all to find. song from Steve Earle from Copperhead Road that came out in 1988 and the song is called Nothing But a Child and we heard a drop from uh, the uh, South Park cartoon that was Kyle and I'm a Jew at Christmas before that fairy tale in New York from the Pogues they call it Celtic Punk and a great album that came out in 1988 If I Should Fall from Grace with God and I love that song wouldn't be the holidays without listening to that at least once. Well, thanks for listening all together. And thanks for hanging out with me as we continue Bunker X and something from the drive-by truckers.
got a fine looking wife For such an old man I can see you looking at me When there's no one else around And I'm counting down the days To December 24 The old man's in the sleigh vacuum cleaner doll? No, honey. Sorry. Could I have um, a battery-operated dog family? No. Could I Flexi the pocket monkey? No, you may not have Flexi the pocket monkey. Mr. Santa, could I have um, a Ready Ranger mobile field? Oh, I'd have to go all the way out to Corvettes to get that. Forget it. What else? Could I get a... Just a little tiny Nerf ball? No, no Nerf ball. Could I get a Vic Hadfield hockey game? Oh, a Vic Hadfield hockey game? Yeah. Well, no. Ha! What else? Fluffy. Fluffy. Fluffy, you want a Fluffy? No. The answer is no, you can't have it. Ha! You want a trap door? Whoa! Ah, Mr. That's one of Santa's little no. tricks. The price you pay for getting Mr. on Santa's Santa. lap, you give you the trap door. Mr. Santa, lap. Barbie was going to go to Are Malibu. Are you sure about Malibu? She needs a tan. Oh, like I'm tan from the sun? Yeah. Yeah, 
Well, my name is Santa from Trapdoor, Wisconsin. Oh, there you go on the floor again. Come on up. It's the old trapdoor bit, baby. The oldest one in the Mr. book. Mr. Santa, you fell for can it. I get a, ha! Can I get a sad sack pearl doll? Oh, a sad sack pearl doll. Isn't that precious? No, you may not. Ha! What else don't you want? Or want to have and can't have? Mr. Santa... For Christmas, I was hoping I would get some Play-Doh. Play-Doh? Is that what you want, kitten? Play-Doh. I want enough to build my parents a house in the country. Enough to build your parents a house in the country? Yes, yes. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what. Since that is an awful lot of Play-Doh, I'll just say no. Ha! <laughs> oh, no, Mr. Santa, could I... No, have... you get it? Well, you can't Santa... have the Play-Doh. Mr. Santa, please, when I When are you want... going to quit? Shh. Mr. Santa, I don't have much time. Santa's getting riled. Don't I need push to get, the Santa. I he gets to, ugly. Mr. Santa, I would like to get a magic slate. A magic slate? Yes. Oh, so you could do magic with it? Well, you draw, it, draw it. on it and then erase it right away, right? Right. So you, then there's nothing left. Well, tell you what. We'll eliminate the middle man, and I'll give you nothing. Maybe you were hoping. What else were you hoping for, I brainless brat? To get um, art, the art masterpieces. Kid. Stick it in your ear. No art masterpieces for you Christmas time. I won't be getting that. Nope. Don't bother looking the stocking because it ain't going to be there. But, Mr. Santa, what about a set of Pez? Pez. Yeah. Well, that seems like a rather small request, just to, you know... It only doesn't cost very much. Piece of Pez. Heck, you can get them free lots of times. Well, could I... You want Pez? Yeah. You can't have it! Ha! I love it! You're not getting it. And that's wacky old Santa. At it again. Ha! Don't go to Markham's department store. The Santa is a fraud. A fraud? <laughs> Realistic is a little bit more like it. Thank you. <laughs> it's a marshmallow world in the winter When the snow comes to cover the ground It's time for play It's a whipped cream day I wait for it to hold you around those are marshmallow clouds being friendly In the arms of the evergreen trees And the sun is red like a pumpkin head It's shining so your nose won't freeze All oh, the world is your snowball See how it grows That's how it goes Whenever it snows, the world is your snowball just for a song. Get out and roll it along. Oh, it's a yum, yummy world made for sweethearts. Take a walk with your favorite girl. It's a sugar date. What if spring is late? In winter, it's a marshmallow world. It's a marshmallow world in the winter When the snow comes to cover the ground It's time for play, it's a whipped cream day I'll wait for the whole year round Those are marshmallow clouds being friendly In the arms of the evergreen trees And the sun is red like a pumpkin head It's shining so your nose won't freeze Ah, oh, the world is your snowball See how it grows That's how it goes Whenever it snows The world is your snowball Just for a song Get out and roll it along It's a yum, yummy world Made for sweethearts Take a walk with your favorite girl It's a sugar date What if spring is late In winter it's a marshmallow world
Your baby's out running around, hanging with the crowd Putting your business in the street and talking out loud Saying you bought her this and that How much you done spent I swear she must believe it's all heaven sent Hey boy, you better bring the woman round To the sad old truth and dirty low down Taught her how to talk like that, boy I wonder, 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 wonder who Gave her that big idea now Nothing you can't handle, nothing you ain't got Put your money on the table and drive it off the lot Turn on that old love light, turn on maybe two years. Same old schoolboy game got you into this mess, yeah. You better come on back to town. To the sad, sad truth, the dirty low down. Ooh, I wonder, 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 wonder who. Who put those ideas in her head, boy? That is an acoustic version of Low Down, Boz Skaggs. He was doing a Christmas tour, and he came through Philadelphia, and I did an interview with him. And while we were in the production room, there was a keyboard, and he had a couple of his people with him, and he graciously played this version of this song. What an amazing version of Low Down. Before that, Marshmallow World from Dean Martin from the Dean Martin Christmas album. We heard from Bill Murray and Gilda Radner and Evil Santa from the National Lampoon Comedy Hour. And we started off, and this is Claus's Kimono. That is from the Drive-By Truckers from a CD called Fine Print, a collection of oddities and rarities. It's a bit early for the holidays, but happy holidays to you. I hope you're enjoying the music. 
We're going to continue now with, um, this is a series that I wrote. I have seven of them. I worked with a band called Sex Mob out of New York, and I recorded seven narratives about a private eye. And this was the very first one. Hope you enjoy it. This is called Christmas Slop. As we continue, Bunker X. I remember it clear. It was about two months ago. There was something strange that day when she walked into my office. She was looking for someone. That's what she told me. Yeah, okay, I can help. She laid a C note on my desk. I said thanks. Yeah, I told her I'd be in touch. She walked out and I stuffed the bill in my pocket. I lit up a cigarette and stared out a dirty window onto a dirty town with its dirty little secrets. I made a couple of calls. Time to cash in a few favors. I got the straight from Jimmy Zip. Jimmy was a two-bit hustler, but he owed me. He said he'd seen the guy at Louie's pool hall. Said that he'd been there the last three nights, flash and go like he was a millionaire. That was all I needed. I had some time to kill, so I walked down to Chewy's. I had a beer and a couple of tacos. Then I walked down to Olympic and Fifth. Night came on the city, like a black veil of death. I stood on a street corner, hidden in the shadows. I lit up a cigarette and waited. A fog came up from the harbor. There was something funny about the night, but I just couldn't put my finger on it. Then I saw him. He had a broad on his arm. She was a looker. I shadowed him for a couple of blocks. Then they went into a cheap hotel. You know, the one with hourly rates. When he came out, he was alone. He looked nervous. I held back to see what he would do. He vomited in the street, then ran down an alley. I followed him. Then I heard a woman scream. It came from the hotel window. What the hell did I get myself into? I watched the guy duck into a garage. Something was wrong. I could feel it. I hid in the shadow and looked around. There they were, the cops, just waiting. I heard the sound of an engine. I watched a 68 Impala pull out of the garage. Then the cops flashed their spot on me. I was being set up. I backed out of the alley, ran a few blocks and ducked into a bar. I had a shot of whiskey, then I made a call, no answer. But then I knew that was the answer. I was the patsy. I went out the back way. I hotwired an old Ford and drove down to the harbor. I dumped the car and found an empty warehouse. I laid low for the rest of the night. The next morning I read about the murder in the paper. A real mess. Cut her up with a butcher knife. It was time for me to get out. I was sick of this town anyway. I took a cab back to my apartment. I made sure it wasn't being watched. I had some dough stashed and I packed a duffel bag with a few rags. I knew they'd be watching my office. I was three months late on rent anyway. I went to the train station, caught the first one out, northbound. I lit a cigarette and stared out the window. The dirty city passed like a bad dream. Then I remembered what day it was. The fat man in the red suit did a number on me. Thanks for the gift. Merry fucking Christmas, I laughed.
wouldn't be Christmas without Vince Guaraldi. That is, Christmas time is here from the Charlie Brown Christmas. As we wrap up, Bunker X, thanks for listening. I know, like I said earlier, it's a bit early for the holidays, but hopefully you'll enjoy this throughout the uh, holiday season. Thanks for listening today. We're going to do it again next week. We do one every single week. We'll get into Bunker Days next week. If you like what you hear, please subscribe and check us out again next week. You guys take care, and we'll talk to you soon. Frost on the ground. The trees begin to undress. Nights are longer. Air is cooler. And snow threatens. We wrap ourselves up in blankets to keep ourselves warm. And we wait. We wait for Santa.